um, hair preserves. Let me get a wash rag. Lord. There were some hair preserves still on the table from supper. Because I have been lazy and I haven't come in it, I haven't come in here and cleaned up. I've been watching a paparazzi party. Um, one of the girls, uh, I watched a paparazzi party for the first time while we were in Florida. And when I got home, I had my jewelry. So I was going to try it on for y'all and let y'all see it. And we're going to have Bible study. So I think I'll start with trying on the jewelry and then we'll do Bible study. How's that? I know it's late, but... Hopefully, I'll stay up late enough. Y'all can watch. Um, and I'm just, y'all are going to see this before kind of I do. Um, so, I guess what I'm going to do is kind of zoom in a little bit. Like this. So that y'all can see what I try on, okay? Um, the uh, My favorite color is orange and Chris's favorite color is green. But I did buy some pink and this one... Um, it's pink because when I do my cake lessons, I like to wear pink, okay? And so, isn't this cute? Cute! Um, and they, and they have matching earrings, and with paparazzi jewelry, you just pay $5, so that's dirt cheap. And so, I actually bought several things, but, you know, hey, it was my first time playing the game. So, here's the little beaded, uh earrings that I got, and then this is the necklace. I'll try it on for y'all. Yeah. Let's see how this looks. Y'all see I got my new shirt on, CBC. Um, you can't see it. Isn't it cute? But here is this, and it's cute. I like it. Like it. You know, I know I'm a big girl, even if y'all think I don't look big, I am. So, and I do have a wide neck, so it's a good size, and it fits around my neck good, okay? So, this is the pink. It's going to look really cute with pink this summer when I'm wearing something pink. Now, Chris's favorite color, y'all, I'm zoomed in, so it's kind of crazy. Uh, the quality's not going to be quite as good, but I want y'all to see the jewelry without me having to come too close to the camera. Um... And this is green. Chris's favorite color is green. These are little pearl looking, pearly green color. I thought maybe I could wear these at Easter. Um, they're a little bit darker than I was thinking, so maybe I won't wear them at Easter. Maybe I'll get a different, lighter color uh, green for Easter. Um, but I'll show you the necklace that came with this green color. And this is it. And the necklaces do have have little extenders on the end of the of them, so that's good. So this is the green. So it's got two little green beads, and then it has the little green uh, beads for the earrings. Aren't they cute? I like them. I'm liking this five dollars jewelry. That's more my speed. Y'all know I don't like to spend a lot of money when I buy stuff. And then you can have much more fun. And get more than one or two things, right? All right, my favorite color, orange. You know me and orange. These earrings are long and dangly with a little orange. It's hard for y'all to see the color in this room. Gosh, y'all can't really see it at all. Anyway, these are little orange beads on here. Under this lighting, it's not showing up very good. I don't have jewelry lighting. I have food lighting, so there's quite a difference. And let me show y'all this necklace. It looks like little strings, and then it has little uh, beads in it. So I'm going to try it on. Cute! See? And it has the extender on it as well. For my big neck. That's nice. See? Pretty. It's going to look good this summer. Because my favorite stuff is orange. Now I've got, see, let me take this thing off. I know y'all probably don't like this view very much, but 
For heaven's sakes, I'll stand up and let you see my shirt. Well, my goodness, y'all, I can't even find the doggone tag now. Oh, here it is. Sorry. Sorry. Let me go out just a little bit. I'm a little bit too close. No. Um, this one has a leather. And I think this was the upgraded version. So this one costs a little more than $5. Because it has the leather on it. And it's uh, an orange leather. Y'all can see it. And no, I'm not selling jewelry. I'm just trying on my jewelry so y'all can see how cute it is. Look how cute that is. And it's got a leather thing that goes around. So isn't that cute? See? Isn't that pretty? So I'm going to enjoy that for sure. It's orange. And then we got this ring I got. And all of their rings are are stretchy so you can wear them and that's a red stone and then I got this bling bling orange and it's a whole set so I got the bracelet and the earrings and the necklace so that's my colors hey Mary hey Taffy let's try this one on and wear it for our Bible study I like this one Nice. And um, it has a bracelet. See? And it has earrings. So they're cute. Now, and the only other thing I got, I say only, I got plenty, didn't I? It were some rose gold earrings. I'll show y'all those. And then we'll start our study. So I'm going to wear something to church tomorrow. For sure. Rose gold. I got the um, loops. Because I got long hair. So I got that. Now I think the rose gold even. I just think it's just so pretty. So it's really bright y'all. The rose gold is. And the girl that I bought these from. That is Missy Patty. And she is the girl that sent us the pear preserves as well. So <laughs> I bought uh, jewelry and she sent me preserves. So uh, that was a pretty good deal, right? Let me get this off. Oh, I'm not going to wear this. I'm losing my mind, y'all. I've been in there with Chris watching TV. I didn't even realize how late it had gotten. It's already getting late. I was like, Chris. I should have started my Bible study 30 minutes ago. Okay. Finally home in my orange kitchen. Y'all, I really do love our little trailer down the beach, but I will say, and I really think it's nice, and I'm really content when I'm down there, but I will say that when I get home, I look around at all my things, and I think that my house is really nice. I really do like my house. <laughs> ah. So, um, let's see. I was supposed to do something for cake lessons today. But y'all, I just got home. We had to do a lot of chores. I went to see my mama. And I just didn't get it done. So, cake lessons may not have a video tomorrow. But I think it'll live. Uh, because I wasn't going to kill myself to get it done. I still haven't even been to the grocery store. But I have a roast, some ground beef, chicken, and chicken wings laid out for the week that I got out of the freezer. So that's plenty of meat. I'm just going to have to go get some other things. My pantry's so full of stuff, y'all. I've got to use some of it. Uh, dried beans and stuff. So I'll probably make some dried beans tomorrow. Um... And then maybe make something else with them later on. You know? Right? Um, Jesus, our perfect hope. He is our perfect hope. That's for sure. And um, we're going to be reading tonight for the March 30th lesson. And tonight is called Behind the Scenes. And um, it's coming out of Esther chapter 6, verse 11. Now, if you're not a big Bible reader because you don't think you... Uh, 
because you have a hard time when you read the Bible understanding it. The book of Esther is one of those books you can definitely read and enjoy without having to worry about, you know, the depth of the meaning, like, you know. So, um, just thought I'd throw that in there. It says, thus it shall be done to the man whom the king desires to honor. And this comes out of Esther chapter 6, verse 11. I'm going to go into my blue letter Bible, and I'm going to type in Esther. And, of course, I'm going to misspell it. E-S-T-H-E-R. That's what I put. Six. It underlined it, so I thought it was wrong, but I guess it's not a word that uh, the dictionary picks up. It says, um, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to read the first of the chapter, and then when we get down to the verse 6 that, we're, that our study comes out of, then I'll stop. But the book of Esther, um, it's... Well, I don't have that in front of me, but anyway, it says, On that night could not the king sleep, and he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles, and they were read before the king. So he couldn't sleep, and he said, Bring me the chronicles, and let's read them. Um, I can guarantee you one thing. If you can't sleep at night, you can pick up your Bible and read it, and, and I'm not saying that it's boring, but it, God will put you in a contented state, and you will fall asleep. If you ever have a problem falling asleep, do that. It works. Um, it says, and it was found written that Mordecai had told of Big Big Thana, and it says, Mordecai had told of Big Thana and Teresh, two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door who sought to lay hand on the king, Assyrius. Is that how you say that, Chris? Assyrius? What? Ahasuerus, I think. Ahasuerus. Okay. Let me just start over. And me and my vocabulary. Um, it says, On that night could not the king sleep, and he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles, and they were read before the king, and it was found written that Mordecai had told of Bigthana and Teresh, two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door who sought to lay hand on the king, Ahasuerus. And the king said, What honor and dignity hath been done to Mordecai for this? So he wanted to reward him, I guess. And then said the king's servants that ministered unto him, There has nothing been done for him. And the king said, Who is in the court? Now Haman was coming to the outward court of the king's house to speak unto the king to hang Mordecai on the gallows that he had prepared for him. Haman's the bad guy. And it says, And the king's servant said unto him, Behold, Haman standeth in the court. And the king said, Let him come in. So Haman came in, and the king said unto him, What shall be done unto the man whom the king delighteth to honor? Now Haman thought in his heart, To whom would the king delight to do honor more than to myself. So Haman thought he was talking about himself. So he thought he was about to be honored. Okay? And Haman answered the king, For the man whom the king delighteth to honor, let the royal apparel be brought, which the king useth to wear, and the horse that the king rideth upon, <laughs> and the crown royal, which is set upon his head, and let this apparel and the horse be delivered to the hand of the one, the king, most noble princes, that they may array the man with all from whom the king delighted to honor and bring him on horseback through the street of the city. Boy, he really thought something of himself, didn't he? And he wanted to be put up on a pedestal for sure. And he laid all this out. And what he didn't know is it wasn't for him. So... Then the king said, Make haste, and take the apparel and the horse, and thou hast said, and do even so to Mordecai the Jew. Let's see. 
I lost my place because I scrolled down. Then too came in the apparel and the horse and arrayed Mordecai and brought him on horseback through the street of the city and proclaimed before him, Thus shall it be done to the man whom the king delighteth to honor. So um, that really was something, wasn't it? That he really thought that he was about to be honored. So he really laid it out there thick. And then the guy he had planned to hang got to be the guy on the horse. So you just never know, do you? God has it all in control. This is behind the scenes. Thus it shall be done to the man whom the king desires to honor. It says you do not, now this is Charles Stanley, uh, Jesus our perfect hope. It says you do not know what God is doing behind the scenes or how he is orchestrating important details on your behalf. Take Mordecai for example. He was hated by an evil man named Haman who was second in command to King Ahasuerus, Ahasuerus of Persia. Haman was determined to execute Mordecai and even built gallows for the purpose. However, the night before Haman planned as the king as if he should kill Mordecai, Ahasuerus could not sleep. He asked to be brought his kingdom's chronicles and while reading discovered that five years earlier, Mordecai had saved his life by exposing an assassination plot. Now, how wild is that? The night before they were going to kill Mordecai. This king could not sleep, asked to see the chronicles, read where Mordecai had saved his life. Now, if that's not God, that's the kind of things that happen in this Bible. Things that you know that a man, it's just not happened since. There's always a purpose for things, and God puts them in their place at the time he commands, not us. But it says Mordecai had saved a life by exposing an assassination plot. What a moment for the king to realize Mordecai's service to him. Not only was Haman's plot plan foiled, but Mordecai was honored instead. This is a perfect illustration of how God works on your behalf. In the unseen, his all-powerful hand engineers what you need. So do not lose heart, no matter how impossible your situation seems. Instead, focus on God. Respect his leadership and trust him to provide for you in his perfect wisdom and time. It says, Jesus, I know you can change. This is what we're supposed to get out of this and pray. And it says, Jesus, I know you can change my impossible situation. In the twinkling of an eye, I will trust you and wait. Amen. My hope is in Jesus because he's working in the unseen. So here is a lot of hope. This book is Jesus, Our Perfect Hope. And our uh, study tonight was on the uh, this unseen thing that God did behind the scenes for Mordecai and that he's actually doing behind the scenes for you and I now. Things that we'll never know and not see till later. And I'll give you an example. And one, of that, uh, one thing that's happening right now that I had no idea would happen three years ago was me and Chris loved, loved St. George Island in Apalachicola. Loved it, okay? And uh, we really wanted a place there, and that's not what God planned because we looked for two or three years, and there was no way we could afford anything there. And we don't want to spend a lot of money, so we wound up finding this place in Pensacola. Well, Pensacola just happens to be my friend. Really, she's the only good girlfriend I've ever had. Uh, seriously, because my friends were always my family until I met Ellen uh, quite a few years back. Her daughter was friends with my daughter. And uh, so we met. Actually, we both sold Mary Kay at the time. Well, she got me to sell a Mary Kay. But, um, but it's weird how everything works. And um, her son joined the Navy. She's uh, he's, who joined the Navy. And it just broke her heart, but it, we know that it's the best thing, you know, and we know that it's good. 
and she knows it, but of course she misses him because she's close to him. And um, he graduated not long ago, but guess where he is? Pensacola. So she got to drive down there yesterday when me and Chris left. She drove down, and she gets to spend this whole week um, with her son. Now, he can't spend the night. She has to sign him in and out. But I told her, I said, when I was on my way home, I was thinking, you know, God knew that me and you were going to be friends. Not only did he know that, but he knew at the time that we got our place in Pensacola, uh, me and her were already friends, but he knew what what was going to happen with Matthew. And now Ellen has a place that she can go and stay and not spend money because she's a single mom and get to um, enjoy her son while he is in school in the Navy. And that is a true blessing for her. And um, it's been a blessing for us to have the place, and now it's a blessing to her as well. And she told me this morning, she said, Tammy, when I got there last night, she said, because she's been before, she said, it's like going home. You know, I just walked in the door, and I felt so at home, and she loves my bed because it's like a, it's a memory phone type of bed. And she said, and I slept so good, and she said, and everything's so organized, and she said, I just love it here. And I said, well, I'm so glad. And I said, you know what? I was just thinking, God knew when we found that place that Matthew was going to be there. We didn't know. And we would have never dreamed it, but he knew it. And now there's a place for her to go and spend time with her son and not have to spend a lot of money. And that's a blessing. So you just never know uh, what God's plans are for you and why, you know. You never know what's going to happen in your life. You never know how you're going to touch somebody, how something in your life is going to make a difference for somebody else. Um, and God is uh, always working behind the scenes, and he sees the bigger picture than we do. So remember that if you're down and out, remember that God has a plan. And regardless of what you're going through, whether it's good or bad, there's always um, a plan for it could be five years down the road for like for Mordecai. He did not, Mordecai did not get rewarded or um, thanked or anything for five years. But the perfect time for him to be thanked was the day before they were going to kill him. So there's always something. Um, it's just neat to think of. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the Bible lesson for today. And I know it's late. Um, but it's time for bed now, and you can fall asleep, read a few words of the Lord in Esther chapter 6, and go to sleep and have a good night's rest, and um, I will hopefully see you guys Monday for Bible study, tomorrow is Sunday, and um, I've got lots to do, and I have church. So I hope you enjoyed seeing my paparazzi. I'm excited because it was just $5 per piece or, you know, per set. And uh, I never got to get any before. I've had some of the ladies go, well, you ought to, you know, you ought to look into it and buy a couple of pieces. But now I'm excited um, because it's costume jewelry. And I heard one woman go, does it turn? And I thought, well, for heaven's sake, you're paying $5 for it. You're not spending $65 for it. So wear it until it does turn. If it does turn, I don't really know. But who cares? It's $5. Um, I mean, you can't expect to get pure something for $5. Just enjoy it while it lasts. So I think I'm going to enjoy it a lot. I know I will. And it's lead free too, so I'm excited about that. So if for anything, if, if for any reason something crazy happens, I'll let you know. But, but most people really uh, give it good thumbs up. So I'm excited. Y'all have a blessed night. Hey, uh, Angie with Garden Obsessions. And hey, Debbie. Y'all have a good night, and we're going to say our prayers, and um, I hope to see you guys Monday for Bible study, okay? Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you today for all of the friends that we have. We thank you for all of these people that we meet through social media and how they touch our lives in different ways. Um, me and Chris were blessed when we got home, and you know that. Um, a couple of the people had sent us things, and so many people have sent me and Chris things for CBC. And 
um, I know I can't say enough, and it's hard for me to express how much we really do appreciate it. And we appreciate all of them, whether they send a gift or not. Just their comments mean a lot to me and Chris. We enjoy rating them. I thank you for um, putting these people in our lives and us being in their life. And um, I appreciate you working behind the scenes for all of us. Um, I appreciate more than anything, of course, your son who came to die for us so that we could have an abundant life here. And I thank you for the hope that we have in Jesus Christ uh, for our everlasting life. Um, what a wonderful thing to know when we lay our head on our pillow at night, to know that we are in your hands and that we will never die. We will just um, go on to a more even uh, beautiful place, a place in heaven that you prepared for us. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Bye, y'all. Love ya. Kamisha says that she's had some for years. I guess it's still good, Kamisha. I don't know. But I don't even, I mean, you know, I'm the kind of person, I get tired of stuff anyway. Y'all, I bought a, a necklace that's got orange in it because orange is my favorite color. And I don't buy a lot of jewelry. And I sure don't buy real jewelry. I think it's a waste of money. I just do. Can't even pawn it for nothing. Um, but, so I'm a not a diamond kind of woman at all. Uh, I'm just not. I'm sorry. But, um, I've had that necklace for so long, and I got it at Kohl's one day. I just walked by there, seen it was orange, grabbed it, had some orange brown in it. I have worn that thing and worn that thing and worn that thing. And I probably paid, you know, $12 for it or something. And it is still hanging on my wall, and it still looks like it, well, I mean, it looks pretty wore out by now. But after a while, you get tired of stuff anyway, you know, and it, and it doesn't cost a lot. And the great thing about jewelry that doesn't cost a lot is then you don't feel so bad when you get tired of it and want to wear something different. So I think uh, most people that buy paparazzi jewelry have a lot of jewelry. So um, I'm just excited about it. Y'all have a blessed evening, and thanks for watching Color Valley Hoods. I got my new shirts. Uh, these shirts are expensive. Um, and I will, um, and I, but I only put $5 on each, per, you know, on each one. It's the most profit I make at all. And what's so great about it is they, they do look good, but they come in all different kinds of styles. And I try to put different styles on there because I know I don't like a t-shirt that comes too high up on my neck. And really, this one's a little too high up for my personal liking. But I wanted to order several, try them on, and see how they fit um, before, you know, and that way y'all would kind of know how the cuts worked. But I did absolutely put some on some V-necks for those of y'all who just don't want this around your neck. In the summertime, a shirt that goes around your neck like this is a lot hotter. So, um, but anyway, I hope y'all have a good day. And if you want to buy one, they're cute. I love our new logo. I think it's so cute. And my kids love them. My my girls were like, oh my gosh. And they have leggings, but the largest size they have in the leggings are extra large. And I got extra large. And me and Amy really need probably, uh, you know, like a 1X or 2X maybe even. Because she put those leggings on. And she, but, oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. And, uh, and they're only, the, the leggings are only available in the United States. Most everything else is available everywhere. But this, um, anyway, my kids love them. They're like, oh, you got to get me one? Oh, I want one. Like, I ordered them big so that I could wear them. And Mae was like, you didn't get me one? And I ordered a sweatshirt, you know, and so they're all excited. So I got to order a couple more for them uh, before it's over because, and I sure don't, I don't wear them around and advertising for me, you know. But um, I'm just glad my girls think it's cute. I like it when my girls like things about Collard Valley Coots because they were so cynical about it in the beginning, you know. But now they're maturing and getting a little older and they're kind of uh, seeing the benefits of Collard Valley Coots. And I think they're kind of enjoying it now, which is nice. May come in here and play in the icing with me today and it was fun. Well, y'all have a wonderful evening and I will see you Monday for the third time I've said bye.